everyone, Krixis here and welcome to this week's video. Basically, I got two parcels from the two different art supply stores and today I'm gonna do unboxing and um, yeah, I really enjoy watching unboxing videos so when I received these parcels I just thought, well, I don't do it usually so I might as well. I have a Jackson's art parcel and this is from Cold Pants. So let's start with Jackson's art. I'm gonna start with this paper. So basically every time I order something on Jackson's art, I'm ordering this paper. It costs only 5B and I really like it. It's pastel paper, but I use it with mixed media and like if I would buy like whole sheet, it's super expensive. So. I am just buying these small ones and you can buy only one per order. I have about four of them already. And the size is perfect as well, so it's only 5B. <laughs> then I have two more Molotov refills. I really want to make more colors. This is a hazel, not brown color. And this is cool gray pastel. So these two, another addition to my current collection. I have six refills, so now it's eight. And I can mix more colors. I already like swatched some um, like swatches, which colors I could get with these ones and my six others. Then I have, I actually, I wanted to buy empty pump markers from Moloto and several of them, but they were running out of stock and like when I was waiting for one thing to get back in stock while I was waiting I lost some of these ones so in the beginning I had four of them in the basket and then they said there is only three so I placed an order and then it said there is only one left so I bought only one and because I wanted several of them I decided to try Montana empty like markers with like this snip so I bought three of them and they're like the same size um, and this is like I think four millimeters yes so yeah I it, ideally I wanted to have all of them in Molotov brand but because they were running out of stock I decided to purchase these ones so we'll see how it goes I also have pencils and I actually got some inspiration from you guys and your suggestions so I'm just gonna take out all of the pencils I have five pencils in total and let's start with uh, this one so this is a Holbein artist colored pencil and the name is sand and Sailor fan 86 and Anna Morimoto uh, You both suggested this pencil because it was quite similar to ginger root. So I decided to give it a go This is one of the colors I got then there are I Think yeah these two which are bought because of Natasha Newton she did video where she was swatching her favorite colored pencils and she swatched this uh, paints gray 30% and I thought maybe this is like my cloud blue color from Derwent Colorsoft so I decided to give it a go because it's like bluish gray I, I would say and then she also swatched spruce green from Derwent Lightfast and I just love that color so it's <laughs> It's kind of ash green, but not really like, and I felt I don't have this color in my colored pencil collection. So I decided also to buy that one. And then these are two, which I just wanted to buy for myself. And I was looking through website and I found this Pablo Carandash pencil. Apparently I, I thought for, for a long, long time that I have Pablo Carandash, but I had Pablo Carol color soap when I went to Jackson's art website I saw this 
lovely color called ash gray and then it's uh, another Derwent Lightfast color and this is foliage and this is reminding me of this Turner color called uh, yellow green um, we'll see if it's similar it looks quite similar so that's why I bought that one I just I was really intrigued um, and I think the color will look nicely so this is like my Jackson's order so this is also like super exciting order and I was like thinking should I do it should I buy it or not for a long time um, I'm gonna share what it is with you oh wow how candy <laughs> uh, I haven't ordered from cold pens for a long long time okay let's start with tape <laughs> wait I will zoom in I really like washi tapes I wanted to have this for a reason. First of all, I really like Morris and like William Morris patterns. And second of all, I just thought to up my like packaging game on Etsy because I am I have like mini Etsy store and I thought to package some of the orders with this tape. So this is like this pattern and I think it's called Oak Tree or something like that. Um, I'm gonna check if I can zoom in even more. I just it's so beautiful and I love how well the pattern is continuing so yeah I will package some of my orders with this tape now so I'm super excited and yeah MT is really good brand it's I think it's from Japan actually but yeah really quality tape then these are acrylic markers and Yono means you only need one they are by brand Marabu and as I understand these are super new so they've been out only for like two or three months and I haven't heard of them until I found them in cold pens and I think a few days later I found that they are also on Jackson's art supplies as well and I just decided to try them so I bought two colors and um, this color is warm gray light and the other one is mistletoe so yeah i'm gonna open the packaging now and show how the nib looks i really like this color how it looks so i'm not sure how like is it like the same colors here or different um yeah so this is like 1.5 to to three millimeters and they have three sizes So this is another thing I bought and I think most exciting thing is I bought my first ever fountain pen. I never in my life had fountain pen and I never in my life tried one, like even like borrowed something or tried just like a few lines. So I'm like not sure if I like it completely, so I really hope I will like it. And this is uh, the edition from this year. It's, I think, called Safari or something like that. Or Savan. I think it's Savan. And um, I just really love this color as well. They have a huge range of different colors. And I did some research about these. And these are really good for be beginners, but also for professionals. So I thought this is like good, uh, good kind of product for me. And also uh, Vera Gulosov, my friend, she also is using fountain pens, so she helped me and like give some advice. But yeah, oh, this is this is so cool. I choose fine nib, so we'll see if I like fine nib. Now I understand. If I remove this one, I guess this um, cartridge will connect and it will go through or something like that. And I actually wanted to have my own colors. These are just plastic and waste. So I might try this one at some point, but I will use my own. So for that, I am... Um, so I bought this uh, Lamy converter, which is basically like something similar like this, but I am putting my own color inside. So if that makes sense. And... I think also this window is really great, so you can see how much you use the ink already. And now I'm gonna show the ink bottle I got 
for my first ever fountain pen. This is like so exciting, but I also like I was so like overwhelmed because uh, <laughs> there's like a big community uh, of fountain pen in users on YouTube and it was like when you write something there's so many videos about them and it's like so overwhelming because I don't have like a lot of knowledge about these things and actually like why I wanted to uh, have fountain pen in the first place because I thought I could do like line drawings instead of using mechanical pencil. Okay, so this is um, Fountain Pen Ink, Writing Ink by uh, Rohan and Klinger uh, from Germany. I am not the best expert at pronouncing it, but this name is sepia. And it was like, so, like, it, it was so tricky to find good brand and it was so tricky to find the perfect color. So I spent a lot of time googling about it, but um, it's like brown, but more grayish brown. So I thought this could be good beginning. <laughs> so yeah, uh, now I have like my first fountain pen, which is like amazing, right? So Lamy pen, extender, ink, beautiful washi tape for packaging orders. These two new paint markers I wanted to try for empty markers for future for mixing colors and uh, then I have these five pencils and this paper. These are two acrylic refills. So this is everything I got from from two art supply stores. So super exciting to try everything out. I'm gonna start swatching everything I have, everything I can swatch. Um, I will have my swatching book <laughs> kind of um, gonna do one page just with these new art supplies let's start with paint markers i'm like i'm so curious how they look i'm gonna give them quite a good shake and then i'm gonna put it on paper oh they're pumping quite fast okay let's try this one It's quite good color. I like it. It's really interesting color. I don't see this color in any other acrylic marker. So I like it already. <laughs> it reminds me of nougat color from Faber-Castell pencils. And let's press the other one. I actually love the chunkiness of these ones. I don't know, they remind me of Posca actually. Like, I, I don't know, the whole look reminds me of Posca. I'm gonna see how they look together. Yeah, like, it's almost the same. <laughs> the cups are a little bit different, so... This is like, quite chunky. I actually don't like this cup, because it's extra space especially if you store them like I do in like pen storage so this can take extra space but I like the colors swatch next to it uh, Lago Blue pastel yeah so this is like they look really well together this is definitely a good addition to my color palette then I'm gonna swatch the colored pencils and I'm gonna start with this Caran d'Ache Pablo Ash Grey color. So yeah, this is like warm grey, I think. I'm gonna I will try to press it as hard as possible and see if I can get darker tone. Yeah, so this is this is as dark as I can get, and this is like lighter shade. I don't know if it may reflect a little bit when I press too hard. So then it's this paint's gray, 30%. And this is what Natasha Newton showed. Oh wow, this is lovely color. It is gray, but it's like cold gray. Yeah, I really like this one. Okay, so this is my cloud blue, my love, loved colored pencil. 
Yeah, like that is definitely darker and more neutral. But it's not bad. They are working really well together as well. Wow. Yeah, it's still different from Smoke Blue as well. Uh, I'm like, <laughs> I really like these nuances, so I'm happy that I have another option. I think they're working really well together. Okay, now I'm gonna swatch this sand color, and this is like requested pencil by you because it's similar to my favorite Prismacolor pencil, Ginger Root. So let's swatch it now. I'm gonna swatch it up here. Hmm. Like I still see differences, but I love I love this color. It's really lovely color. I'm definitely like not regretting that I bought this. I think I'm gonna also compare it to the ginger root, just because if you want to see the reference for yourself as well. Yeah, so this is like more neutral, the sand one. And the ginger root is more like green, greenish. But I like them both. It's like, it's really lovely color palette. And like, even like ginger root and sand looks really great together with paints gray 30%. Um, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna swatch this uh, spruce green. It's a color I actually don't have. Even though I have a lot of pencils, I don't have this kind of green. It's like really neutral. Um, I love it. And the last pencil I bought, I just have it in Jackson's, the foliage, and I really wanted to have it, so I just bought it <laughs> because I was looking on YouTube, like searching videos for Derwent Lightfast pencils and some videos were like full with all of the pencil swatches so I kind of grabbed my colors and tried to compare which colors they have, which colors I would love so when I saw this foliage color I, I, I was like completely hooked so I had to buy it <laughs> even though like um, I needed to not buy all the colors I wanted. Like this was one of the ones I really like needed. So like these are like all of these colors are so lovely and they all look really lovely together. So I'm super happy how they look. I'm going to also like put this tape up here and this tape <laughs> actually looks like a color palette from all the colors I swatched. I love all of these pencils I just swatched. Um, they complement each other and like I, now I want to create illustration just with these colors. I feel they, they're like perfect <laughs> for each other. So welcome to another part of this video. And I actually, I didn't thought I will film this, but um, Natasha Newton surprised me and uh, she sent me some art supplies so i thought i will swatch them in this uh swatching session as well and i just wanted to show like how beautiful her work is so if you like her work she has a website and she's selling these postcards um and she gifted those to me and i'm like so happy i actually have one which i already framed um i think this is like my favorite i really like the cold and warm colors how they look together and it, it's such a calm scene and um, yeah I, I received these small postcards because actually one day she said like can you send me your address I will send you ginger root and I was like okay <laughs> uh, if you want to but like no pressure and she just surprised me uh, with more art supplies, which I didn't expect. Uh, this <laughs> Prismacolor Ginger Root, and if you saw my top 10 favorite colors, I talked about this color a lot. A lot of you suggested places where I can buy this, or like I can send them to you. And yeah, like that wasn't my intention, but like Natasha wanted to send to me, I was like, okay, let's do it. Uh, so I actually preferred small surprise for her as well. 
but she doesn't know it. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's even like my favorite pencil. It's actually a nice feeling to have like a second pencil just in case because maybe it, it like something will happen and I will not get it. So yeah, then she also sent to me so it's art crop, car soft carbon pencil, butter soluble. I have one carbon pencil. I don't know if it's different or not. Wolf's Carbon from Great Britain. And I got it from one of the teachers from my children's picture book course. Yeah, I think I'm gonna sharpen this right now. Actually, I don't know if you know, I have like this small box with uh, three different sharpeners and I sharpen everything up here and then I'm closing the lid. It's just, I really like this <laughs> small idea I had one time. Oh wow, it reminds me of like uh, pencils I used to sell in my art, like in the art supply I worked. And they were meant to be for like glass surfaces and you could write on the glass. I don't know if you can with these ones. No, not sure. Put a little bit of water. So I'm gonna grab my Princeton brush. Yeah, it's much darker color than if I use them without adding water. This is definitely something super interesting. So I'm gonna compare it to this other carbon, Wolf's carbon, carbon pencil I have. So this is different. Uh, this is completely different feeling. This feels more waxy and this feels more like uh, charcoal. And yeah, maybe you can hear it's much drier. So these are completely different pencils. So thank you, Natasha. This is something super interesting. I never like thought of like doing illustrations with this, but maybe I should. And there's like some beautiful granulation happening in here as well. I don't know if camera is picking it up, but yeah, this is amazing. I also have this eraser, which she gifted to me. And I I like I know the brand Koh Kohinoor, it's Czech brand, but I never saw this eraser. It looks really funky. I like it. I'm gonna try to erase. There is like some pencil up here. But it's colored pencil, so... Oh, it's actually erasing colored pencil pretty good. Now I'm gonna swatch this small watercolor, which she got from Italy. And uh, so, yeah, this is like indigo color. So I have like this mini watercolor swatch for you. By all means, I'm not like professional or something, but... Uh, I read that if there are handmade watercolors, uh, you kind of need to let the color sit before you paint with it. And the longer you let it sit, the better the results will be. So I'm actually going to put this one a little bit on the side and I'm gonna be right back with the color. And meanwhile, I want to show two more colors and these are not from Natasha. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Yeah, so these two colors are colors I made from the empty pump markers I just bought and I just showed them like 20 minutes ago for you or something like that. And I wanted to make some brownish colors. So, I actually made this one and uh, decided to gift some markers to Natasha, so I made colors for her as well. But this is hot chocolate and I love this color a lot. It's a um, color I wanted to make because there isn't any acrylic paint marker which is in this shade, so that was like the reason why I made it. So I already activated it because I used it in my work, 
but I'm gonna swatch it for you as well. And I actually, because I made two hot chocolate colors, this I made slightly darker and a little bit more grayish. And the other one I made was a little bit lighter and less grayish. But they both look like hot chocolate, <laughs> so that's why I named them hot chocolate. Okay, and this is the other color and I'm gonna name it in front of you because sometimes I need to see the color, how it looks on paper and <laughs> I, I love naming colors actually. I could like make my own set with colors and just name them all, you know, so I think that is like one part of joy while making your own colors is just naming them. So this is new completely. I didn't reactivate it. So we are going to see my <laughs> immediate reaction. This was actually one of the colors I wanted to make before. But instead of this color, I accidentally made like uh, olive brown. No, olive, olive color, olive green. So this time I used more lobster color and this is what happened. So I'm actually pleased with this shade. Yeah, this looks like this looks like brown ochre actually. But I want to name it I think it's toffee. <laughs> this will be toffee color, like toffee candy. I don't know if you say toffee i have no idea but i really like this color and i'm so happy i finally managed to make it I actually have one video on my youtube channel where i made my own molotov marker colors and i tried to make this color and it didn't work but now i did it this is the fountain pen i showed before i actually put already ink inside it's already like running low because I have used it every single day and it's been like a little bit less than a week from the time I filmed the unboxing for that previous part and I'm gonna make a video and hopefully I will put it next week where I'm gonna share my thoughts but um, I, I just like I'm loving it and I'm gonna write like everything I wrote here is with, with this pen as well and the sepia color which I bought and I already like want to buy more <laughs> is this crazy? I don't know so this is hot chocolate and this is toffee I'm like actually I'm so happy of this page I love all the colors I, just, I swatched and they work really well together about this fountain pen I really want to like already buy new colors <laughs> because I like this um, sepia color which is like this really really dark brown warm brown but i really want to buy more different colors so probably in the future in this channel you will see like my font and pen obsession uh, videos <laughs> where i'm just talking about like different kind of font and pens and different kind of inks and so on so this will be funny <laughs> I'm ready to swatch the um, watercolor. I think it's sat there for some time already. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna zoom in now. Yeah, this is like really beautiful color. Okay, I'm gonna swatch it on watercolor paper because this is like mixed media paper. So probably in watercolor paper, it will look even more beautiful. I really like this deep tone. I can imagine it in night, like as a night sky or something. Really beautiful watercolor. I I think I need to go back to watercolors because I now have a lot of new watercolors and I've been working with gouache for my picture books. So I think I need to do my personal project using watercolors. I really like the granulation aspect of them. And this is like super beautiful. I'm gonna put it closer to you and zoom in a little bit. It's not completely dried up yet, but you can already see like granulation. 
So I'm gonna show all the art supplies I got in this super super chunky and long video. If you need any of those as a reference, uh, go for it and take like a screenshot or something. So thank you so much for watching this week's video and uh, I will see you I will see you next week for another video. I'm gonna probably talk about this fountain pen. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and comment down below which art supply you like the best of these ones. And if you have any of those, have you ever uh, saw Yono markers before? I have also affiliate link from Jackson's art supply store. So if you never bought anything from them, you can use my link to get 10% off of your first order. If you are buying from Jackson's Art second or third time, you can always still use my link. You will not get anything from it, but I will still get small commission at no extra cost from you. And it will help to su support my channel and the future purchases. Have a good day, evening, morning, wherever you are, and see you next time. Bye!